Well, it's right side of your screen. It's hard to tell. Maybe he just got that other white truck. Maybe it made some contact with him. He was trying to race under the Like I Chuck Hosfeld in the picture truck was uh, sideways, and Larry Gunsman had nowhere to go and ran in the side of him. We don't know exactly what caused Chuck to get sideways, but uh, when he did, Larry, uh, they're struggling. Larry see if we can see what happened. Oh, look. Catches the apron and watch this baby shoot up the hill. Phil, how many times back in the day? Oh, hard contact. Watch I'm, Parker Clearman go through there. Look at sideways. that. Sideways. How many times back in the day do we hear Dick Beatty tell us in the NASCAR meetings when you get down know what's going on there? Whoa. Oh, look out. We got trouble. This is going to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Yep. John going down into turn number one there. What happened? Travis Quapple got in the back of Larry Gunzelman, got him turned around into the outside wall. And John Wood made some contact with the outside wall, trying to avoid them. And Ronnie Hornaday is going to come in here extremely hard. You see Lance Norton get turned around there, trying to avoid Kyle Busch in the 99 truck. And I watch Hornaday come from the left side of your picture. He'll jam the brakes on. I'm sorry, Wood was facing away from Hornaday. So here comes Hornaday. Ronnie Hornaday, the third. Up off the wall, ricochets into the back of John Wood's Eldon Ford. It's, you see, the, the, the tire is already smoking. Looks like he may have bro broken a spindle or a hub or something like that, Mikey. Yeah, something went wrong with the, with the steering on that truck. And he just... Crafton sits right there, and we've got two together. Jesse Little in the 97 involved, and we got more contact deeper in the field. Townley involved. The 63 is in there with Justin Jones. You see him he's right in the middle, same situation. He was right in the middle of a couple trucks. He lost some air off the rear spoiler, and around he went. He's going to, he made some race track. The three wide behind him. Oh. The 63 truck just didn't get yeah. the memo, man. Yeah, he couldn't it's... slow down as Joey Clinton well, was trying to get off the yeah. racetrack. Joey was not off the racetrack right. yet. He was straddling the yellow line, but, and they came around there, and, and uh, the 63 is indicated. But also Johnny Sauter, the race leader, fortunate enough to be back just enough that where he didn't get caught up in that. Wow. Donahue just got loose on entry. Maybe saw the truck. 72 for the, for the sixth time. Him right there, Jonathan Price looked like he got into the outside wall, and Larry Gunzelman had nowhere to go and ran to the back of him. So heavy damage. Nick was. You see him. Cole Witt's going to slide up the race track, gets loose, makes contact with Nick. Boy, nice job by David Starr. He gets through, and Brendan was trying to get through. Just the front, the 63 came down and clipped him. 95. For Pierce, banged it off the wall. Hard did Larson and Bobby Pierce slides up in front and he hits the wall. And now Larson back in front of Pierce. And the crowd goes crazy. These fans are on their feet watching this battle for the front. But I believe oh, right rear tire by Bobby Pierce. And Pierce is going to come to a stop. Getting down in turn number one. Watch that. You see him get loose. He has to chase the truck up the hill. When he does, he makes contact with his 07 of Wayne Edwards. And then Justin Algar came along with absolutely nowhere to go and makes some pretty hard contact with his 07. Figured it was fair to change lanes. Yeah, Kyle was, Kyle was just running through the center. He wanted to move to the inside of Chad McCombie. And unfortunately, when Mike Skinner eased up the racetrack a little bit, they made the contact, and this is what ensued. Look at that violence. Parts and pieces flying. Look, look at fire. Jack Sprague. Jack Sprague Jack trying to make his way through there. I tell you what, Rick Crawford came through right here. Oh, wow. Looks like the nine of Brennan Newberry maybe got in the corner underneath Hefner sideways. And those up out of the corner by Iowa. I tried to Boy, look, he's almost got saved, but that's the vicious hook right there. He's lucky he didn't take a couple more people. You see, what he did? So usually when you turn down like that and you're going to spin, you're supposed to lock it down and spin to the inside. Oh, and Eichler runs into the back of Jack Smith and turns him in the outside wall. By the time you're that far back, guys, you rely totally on your... So, replay, there was... Looked like the 07, Ray Black Jr. was very close to him. I can't say that he was involved, but he was one second of the lead. Oh, there and they go. Down to the inside of the track. They're wrecking. Ryan Blaney involved. Hard hit by the, the nine of Hornaday. Caution comes out again. Seven laps to go. Scott Stenson. 
and already damaged. Check it out. John West Townley and others. Ramon Corona among those that got damaged before we even got the green flag. Conversation on the phone and so what are you See, doing next week? Looks like look, maybe a left front tire it, it or something went down. Yeah. You, you mentioned the fact that the right side tires were up. Something obviously went down. Johnny Sauter truck, I think, was in the middle, and someone didn't know he was there. Yeah, it was a 51 truck, Mike. It looked like he was in on the top three wide there and started to come down over the cross of uh, over the front of Johnny Sauter's nose, and that's really what triggered the whole accident. Yeah, that 51 of Matt Tift got turned. And watch what happens behind it craziness. Norm bending around. You saw a lot of damage to the